Just want to introduce you to uh, one of the newest plants I put in here this spring. Honestly, I thought about it. <laughs> I've been thinking about where to put this thing for months and it arrived and I still didn't know where I was going to put it. And after a couple days of contemplating, I ended up putting it here where there used to be an old ash tree uh, that died to the emerald ash borer. And uh, this is a new hybrid that came out, I don't know, a year or two ago from Stark Brothers. And this is what's called the Chicago Hardy Fig. And I think outside of the Chicago Hardy Fig, I think there was a, uh, like a brown turkey fig. I don't know what the Latin name is, but that was certainly the common name. And I don't think it was quite hardy up to uh, the Chicagoland type area. This, however, is supposed to be hardy to Chicago and even beyond Chicago. And uh, if you have a, potentially, depending on where you live, this fig tree could grow to 20, 25 feet tall. Or B, it may die back each year. And if you compost and mulch over the... Uh, the root ball and the, and the crown of the plant, it may send out multiple stalks each year. So, in all honesty, I really don't care which way uh, it grows. I may even cut it down each year just so, you know, normally you got the snow plows in the winter coming by shooting a pretty good amount of snow here. So, I don't know if it breaks off the stalk, no big deal. I'll cut it down in the spring and hopefully I have a couple more stalks coming out each and every spring. Uh, but this is very cool. I'm excited about it. Evidently the fig tree has basically no pests. Uh, deer, if you live in an area where there's some deer, deer do not like eating it. And uh, it certainly has some really cool and unique foliage, uh, almost kind of a tropical foliage in nature. And you'll see it's starting to produce. I got one, two, three. There's a third one in there figs that are already producing and figs do not just produce one crop they keep producing each and every week or whatever once they start producing they keep producing that particular fig variety if they start in July they'll produce through the end of the year if they start producing in August they'll produce through the end of the year obviously I think it's a little bit like a bell curve and uh, there will be moments that it's heavier than others, but once it starts producing, you should be able to start pulling off figs. So this started growing. It was about down here. It's grown this much and put up a couple lateral branches. Um, this being its first year, not too bad. We've had a nice moist uh, spring with quite a few rains, bordering on a couple times where we have probably had some floods. Uh, you know, or flood type areas in the rivers, but that is good for when you have a plant out here in your parkway uh, that, frankly, unless I'm concentrating on watering it, it gets beaten by the sun all day, and uh, while it's getting established its first year or two, it could use some water. So that was a really good thing about planting it this spring, is it's hopefully off to a good start and getting some deep roots uh, put into the dirt that'll lend itself well as we come into July here in August but uh, I'll do another video on this going forward but I'm pretty excited to have some tropical tasting fruit like figs coming out of uh, the yard here shortly and uh, looking forward to see if it truly is pest free and uh, just really easy to maintain and something that you can come and pick off a couple figs each and every day as it comes into season and and enjoy them so uh, if you haven't looked into it, take a look. The only place I know to get it is at Stark Brothers. That's starkbros.com. And uh, that's about it. Or feel free to message me if you have another question. So hope all is well and that you enjoyed your 4th of July weekend. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.